What's up everyone? My name is Royal Rebel. In today's video, I am unboxing ColourPop's Mystery Spring Box. I should also add it does have a Leo, um, I forget what it was exactly called, but it's like the Leo eyeshadow and lip color. Um, I got them all as one, so uh, while that is in there, that is not technically included in the, well it's not, it's not included in the mystery box. I've never done a makeup mystery box before, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. It was about $50 on ColourPop's website, and to be quite honest, ColourPop is one of my favorite brands, so like, the chance to kind of stock up on their makeup is an exciting opportunity for me. But, here we go. We have the Leo kit. Uh, I definitely had to get this because, fun fact, my fiance and I are both Leos, so like, I just thought this was really cute and holy cow, I was not expecting all this plastic, but I actually really want to try and recreate the look they had with the uh, with the, the Leo kit that they had on their website. I just thought it was really cute and I want to get into makeup more and so I figured, you know what, starting with something that they already have would be a good way to go. Now, looking at this box, I thought it was going to be really tiny, but like... You really don't need it for these four colors and they're so nice and they're so neutral like i'm not usually into big crazy colors so i feel like starting off with some neutrals um is a safe way to go so yeah this will definitely be fun fun to try and then just to show the lip color really quickly if i can get the box open maybe not <laughs> i'm trying not to rip the box not that i care about the box but here we go here we go and this is the lip color again like a nice neutral it's like a little reddish brown it looks like so yeah overall uh i think it works as a leo i think they nailed these colors on the head but for what we're really here for the mystery box which holy cow this comes with looks like a lot of goodies all right so starting off we have oh wow okay so this is like one two three four five six different palettes it's the good for hue set and so it looks like this is gonna be like a wide range of colors. Let's see if I can get this open real quick. And we'll pull a couple out, see what's here. Oh my gosh, okay, so we're gonna start with hot chocolate. I don't know, that's the one that like popped out to me. They are all food names. Okay, so obviously hot chocolate's gonna be some browns. I like that these are kind of little. Definitely gonna be a space saver. So this next one, I'm assuming it's gonna be all pinks. It's called Sorbet. Okay, and I realize I'm filling with my front facing camera. Okay, so they're kind of pinkish, but they're still neutrals. I do see some in here that are gonna be more colorful, which is great for me that a lot of these are neutrals, but also getting some like pops of color because I feel like getting into makeup more, I'm gonna need to like go out of my way and try some colors. Like literally this makeup, I've done the same makeup for my last few YouTube videos and it's from the Grogu palette, but it's like the brown and the white shimmer, <laughs> is it? Um, this one is Peach Please and still kind of neutral, but like a light pink. I really like that and I feel like I already know like a makeup style I want to try with this. I mean the thing is too is I gotta get out of my normal makeup routine because basically my makeup routine is I put on my base but then for the eyeshadow I put a color in my crease that's like a medium tone and then I put like something shimmery or light on my eye <laughs> eyelid to contrast it. So not anything too too crazy. Okay so this is the Plum and Get It. I'm assuming again it's gonna be more neutral but like maybe with a pop of purple to it. Yep, so like neutral colors but like purplish to it which is fun. Um, this will work. I'm trying to get like an office job again. So like this will give me some options. This one's Silver Spoon. Uh, again, I'm assuming this is gonna be primarily neutral but like with a little bit of a silver undertone to it. This is the only one that's not named after an actual food. Okay, so yeah, so lots of silver. I feel like silver and black is kind of neutral on itself. The black would definitely be adventurous for me because the only time I've used black in a makeup look is uh, for my Harley Quinn cosplay. And with that one, that one's probably like the most bold look I've ever done because it's a mixture of red and black eyeshadow um, just to kind of play on like the red and black in Harley Quinn. And then finally we have the cream soda, which is again, a more neutral. This one's like probably like a more true neutral <laughs> with the color scheme. Uh, I don't know if glitter glitter colors are considered like a true neutral thing, but um, I like this. I mean, it is called, oh no, good for you. I was gonna be like, is it called food for thought? 
Um, I do find it funny that they are all like named after foods minus the silver spoon, but they're all really pretty and I think that's a really versatile set of colors. Okay, so we're just pulling this out at random because yeah, it's a, it's a surprise box. I don't know what's in here. This looks very, very pink. Okay, so it's called Moon Haze. It's another pressed powder palette. I have a feeling this is all gonna be powder. I'll be really surprised if it's not. Oh gosh, I can't even see. This is a very bright color packaging. Um, let's see if I can get you open. Oh, that's fun. Okay, so it's a lot of browns, but then you've got like that bright pink in the middle. I feel like I want to look up some way to use these colors together because it's it's like a neutralist kind of brown is the Outlands, a more golden brown Electro. Those are the two glitters. It's got the pink Dreamwave and then the Quantum and Astral are like browns. Although the Astral, it's kind of hard to tell against this pink. It does have a bit of a pink undertone to it. I'm assuming the other brown does as well, but like against that like violently pink packaging, it's kind of hard to tell. Okay, this one I'm kind of excited for. I got a Malibu Barbie palette. I kind of wanted to order the Malibu Barbie set, but I wasn't completely committed to it. Uh, I actually wanted to buy a couple of their uh, collaborations because like they were on clearance. So they actually had the Sanderson sisters or the Hocus Pocus collaboration on clearance. Um, but this works because this is also one that I was considering. So this is the Malibu Barbie collaboration. Oh gosh, it's magnetic. Uh, this is exactly what you would expect. So you got the mirror, but then very, very summer California beachy vibes with this color palette. Exactly what I would expect. Um, so definitely gonna have to try some looks with that. I've actually been like going on Pinterest and looking up different makeup styles to try. I just, I gotta get adventurous. My big problem is I am so fearful of waste. I don't know why I'm always so anxious about like wasting makeup or, you know, wasting product. But that's the thing with makeup. You just kind of have to go for it. I've kind of learned, and even though I haven't done this in practice, I've kind of learned that like with makeup, you just gotta go for it. Like confidence is like half the battle. Okay, so I'm gonna move this box. And we do have some glosses, so it's not all just powder, which is great. I don't know why I expected it mostly to be powder. I feel like maybe because powder is like the safest thing to give away as a surprise. Um, is this the same as the Leo? So it's the Lux Gloss, what's the color? I'm terrible at like finding it. Ticklish, Ticklish is the color. Okay, so maybe it's not the same. It's just the packaging looks the same on the Leo. It's a, it's a pink, it, but it's a, it's a neutral pink, so that's good. At least maybe for me it's neutral. I'm a very pale skin tone, so like it's, and I also, I just don't know makeup terminology. Okay, so this is the blush stick. I've never used a blush stick before, but I've always wanted to try one. Um, so I'm glad this is in here because then maybe it's a color that I can use. Okay, so I can't see the color from here because it's a yellow tube. I've never heard of, Oh, okay. That's kind of a dark blush. I don't know if I'd be able to pull this off. But you know what, like I was saying earlier, I feel like 90% of like makeup and being a makeup artist or like a self-made makeup artist is just going for it and trying it. But I'm definitely gonna have to look up how to use a blush stick because um, I have only ever used powdered blush in my life. Okay, and so now we've got a couple of the lippy sticks. I actually kind of like these. I've had a couple of these in the past. So this one's at Twilight, take the lid off. This is the color for that one. I actually might have this one already. I've bought one of their lippy sticks before. It's been a while. Uh, mostly just because Jay Stubes got me into the CoverGirl Clean Fresh. That's actually what's on my lips right now is the Bliss You Berry. I've just been kind of obsessed with it because it just, it doesn't go on too dark. Like, I don't know. I just, it's a really nice application. So, but it'll be nice to have a range with lips. So that was the first lippy stick. And then the final product is another, another lippy stick, or what is it called? Ooh, yes. Okay, so fun fact about me, I'm kind of obsessed with dark reds. Um, so like, I've got like a darker red. It's not quite, quite, quite as red as I would normally pick out, but you know what, it works. So, uh, sorry, getting a phone call while I'm filming. But that is the surprise spring mystery box from ColourPop I got. What do you guys think? Leave your comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so I can bring you more content.